Uh, I have had a, a lovely vocation. What is that movie? I'm back. I feel like it's Beetlejuice. No, it's not, it's not Beetlejuice. It was the. It was Jack Nicholson. Oh, that's here's Johnny. That's here's Johnny. <laughs> All right. Anyway, how was your vacation, Rex? I think it was Did you just sit around doing nothing for seven days? Nothing. Yeah. Not a thing. Actually, here, only having one job is a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I still had six jobs. Yeah, it sucks for you. So I only lost one of my seven Here's jobs. Here's what I got to do, which, which you know, people give me a hard time about it, but I got to get my oil changed. I got windshield wipers, so they actually wipe away rain now. I, um, I got breakfast tacos, no, nice. which I never do. I play games. I played some. I played some games. I worked. I worked seventy-five hours. I think. Last week. I think some people were expecting us to like go to a beach somewhere. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Now I'm gonna pour you a whiskey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. this is a gift from Harry Falkenberg, but we should probably wait until it's unsheathed before you do a magnificent. So this is thing. this is our first foray. Yeah. Into the new review process. Yes. The tube sock method. Basically, I don't know what it is. I do. He knows what it is. Yeah. And. We're just in the midst of first impressions. I'm going to be trying to guess what it is, and then after first impressions, we'll figure out how close it is. Probably just a category. Well, well no, 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 I'm learned, experienced. Okay. Now you're going to know what this is because the title of the video. Cheaters. <laughs> Bunch of filthy cheaters. <laughs> you are. Oh, Ooh, this interesting. Is, is this uh, is this a scotch? On the nose. This is like a like a Highland Scotch. I'm calling it a Highland Scotch. Okay. Yeah. On the nose, what's weird is you get a little bit of these uh, fruity, light fruit notes and slight butterscotch. Or is it a really, is it a really, uh, not aggressive, not overly smoky Isla? Uh, what you'll have to taste it and find out. Where is the now? There is a little bit of peat in there, but there's also this re weird clingy sweetness to the end of the nose. There, yeah, that's that's what I'm, th I'm thinking. It could possibly be an Isla, but it's not going to be one of the iconic, you know, heavy hitter, super peaty. Yeah, and it's not briny, right? So uh, often in Island and Isla peats, yeah, peated Scotch, because you're right, it is a Scotch. Yeah, um, you're going to get a little bit more of the salty, iodiney types is of it an Island peat. No, not an Island. It's a Highland. I said Highland. Technically, I said Highland. Yeah, I said Highland Scotch. You did. Now, uh, technically, right. wait for it. And so, do you want to see it now, or do you want to wait? Let's get some actual notes here. Okay. It's finishing with some honeysuckle. There is that little bit of peat for me. I'm going in from A to Z. What do we got? So, we've got all of this uh, introduction of typical... Wait, I'm getting some, some fruitiness and some saltiness. Mm -hmm. Some fruitiness, a little bit of brininess. So, remember that Highland peat burns completely differently uh, because it's peat coming from forest... Yeah. Not from Island. This whiskey, and I really like going in fresh, by the way. For me, I'm like the only person that's having fun with this because everybody else knows what it is. Yeah, for but me, <clears throat> for me, this is a really nice balance between the fruitiness of Speyside and kind of the, the, the saltiness and brininess that you get from other scotches. What do we have here? What is this? It's, so technically, this is in the Speyside region, which is also Highlands, mm -hmm. right? But this is Glenfiddich. This is one of their special editions. By the way, this is Harry Falkenberg. Harry Falkenberg, you magnificent! So anyway, they did an experimental series, Glenfiddich, right? Yeah. Uh, brainchild, if I remember correctly, of uh, Brian Kinsman, yeah. along with others. And uh, so, like, for example, we had the Glenfiddich um, I IPA. <laughs> You know, the IPA Glenfiddich, remember I, that? Yes. The double X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Glenfiddich Experimental yeah. one. And a Project XX, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the, the winter edition. Yeah. They had that one. Yeah. This one is one. And what it is. Fire and is, it is a um, It is a rare peated malt being run through a normally unpeated distillery stills. So at the, my first swing... My first swing at a socked whiskey. Mm. You give me something that's like pretty a, classic, a total curveball. It's a curveball. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a curveball. But you were right. It was a, it was a Scotch and it was Highland. Now the peat they ran. It's a distiller that normally do the peat. They ran the peat. Then they mixed that after they aged it. They mixed that with some of the unpeated 
run. Yeah. And then they finished it in rum casks for wow. three months. So I am amazed. At I'm how having a hard time getting to the rum. I, but, so I've said this multiple times before. I'm so inexperienced in the ways of rum, and mm -hmm. I'm very looking forward to trying a bunch of rummy stuff someday. That I wouldn't be able to pick out the rummy bits. If uh, what I will tell you is this one is such a flavor it. adventure. It is <laughs> that every sip makes you go, wait, is it? No, could it be a what? Is it? No, what was that? Right. It, just, it just. It's almost like a, you ever watch, you know what it is? Yeah. It's because this image has been put in my head from the bottle. Yeah. You ever watch a fire pit burning yeah. and you just watch low flame shoom, and you, just this creeping of, yeah. I feel like that's what I'm drinking. Like I'm drinking something that's constantly shape changing. I feel, since we're talking about feeling, mm -hmm. I feel like if you cared even a little about whether or not I knew what I was talking about, you would have chosen like the most obvious you can't possibly get it wrong, whiskeys. He doesn't care if I get it wrong or right. No, I really don't. Yeah, he really doesn't. So That's part of the adventure. This, yeah, this is not me working through a rig system here. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot wrong. I am still basking in how accurate I was with not only the country but the region. Well, sort of. Not really. It's actually a space side distillery. I said, but technically, space side is part of the Highlands. That's what I said. <laughs> It's like you said, this is from America. It's like, well, yeah, you're right. It's actually from Texas. So. Guy. <laughs> guy. But when you're listing the five regions of Scotland, Highland and Speyside are listed as two separate regions. I, I will say this, though. If I were paying attention to the, the shape of the tube sock, mm -hmm. I could have noticed that iconic that shape. That Glenfiddich. Yeah, yeah like, oh, the Glenfiddich with or the if you were looking, so rounded, rounded off triangle. Here's what's weird for me. Yeah. I just figured out what I'm getting. There's this slight rubbery tannic note. Where's the comment? That's your job now. Since when? There's oh. this tannic, slightly uh, rubbery note to the peat notes that's weirdly reminding me of Springbank. Of that slight rubber note that I get in Springbank. Minus all the sherry yeah. and minus the heavy iodine, but still this so, slight. So slight is the word because it is definitely. It's really I, muted. I think they were going for a balance between yeah. you you find the peatiness. The peatiness presents as a little bit of a rubber, uh, but also the sweetness. You can't discount that. Mm -hmm. The, the space side fruitiness uh, finishing in a honey cycle for me, that's definitely there. And I think they were figuring out how to get something with complexity across that spectrum. Yeah, as your palate gets used to the smoke, this whiskey gets fruitier and fruitier and fruitier and sweeter and sweeter every sip. Right. Uh, you sort of act, that, that peak becomes background noise. Oh, while we were gone, mm -hmm. uh, we were giving shout outs to other channels. That's there. right, yeah. Yeah, I think we did a mention for No, no Nonsense Whiskey before we left and we did the uh, then we did the, uh, the It's Bourbon Night, mm -hmm. we did Scotch Test Dummies, we did Aqua Vitae, right. we did Ralphie. Ralphie, and then today uh, there was a mention for the podcast. We have some community members that started up a podcast Oh yeah, the very one. recently, Cask, yeah. Cask Strength. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool people. Who wants to see Daniel drive a tractor? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, but that was Terry Dolan. <laughs> Wait, does he have footage of me driving a tractor sure around on that day that we... <laughs> I'm sure it's on the podcast somewhere. <laughs> yeah. For Ireland, how about a tribe trip? Mm. So, once we figure out... What... We narrowed it down to a week, I think. Uh, did we? Yep, in June. Because... Next June. Because I was talking to... T Terry's in Ireland, by mm -hmm. the way, speaking of Terry. Um, you say, well, we can do all this stuff while you're here. Uh, and then also... Isla is just a short ferry trip yeah, from we can one hop side. Over. We'll hop over there. So it's looking like June is going to be when we head over there because that's when we'll be able to have the best opportunity of being on the farms in when they're in action. So this is Jeremiah Griffin. So did Rex not complete the last quarterly challenge or was that just a plot twist in the storyline in the last episode? Yeah, what was it, Rex? Well, the truth of the matter is... And that, my magnificent bastards, is exactly what went down and why it went down that way. Good question. Uh, so why not use the original set for story time? Oh, the original set, because we're talking about doing story time backed into the episodes. Whatever. Oh, you mean like down there? No, is no, that no. The original, What's no, the original set? Original set was the table. There. The table's yeah. gone, my friends. Table's gone. That's actually, it was, wasn't 
school property. No. Uh, I think my parents owned it. Yeah. Um, and that's in the distillery now. But I kind of like that angle. We would still need to get a second thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Story time. We got to find another location here. We haven't done water. I just put in like four drops in a small amount. It rounded it off. I won't say it unlocked any flavors. I will say it was already at 43%. I will say it, uh, yep. some, some of the effervescence, the carbonated water springiness that it leaves on your tongue, that's now gone. That's rounded off. Uh, it's still a nice, still a nice whiskey. I like it better without the addition of water. Yeah, what's weird is for me, it buried the sweet notes and left behind all the peat rubber. Mm. And so now all I'm getting is a dominant flat whiskey with a lot of rubbery notes. I'm just more nuanced and receptive with the palate. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> because I nailed this. I, I called it before you pulled the sock off. I said, this is a glymphitic. <laughs> this is a Highland whiskey. No, 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 not Highland. Here's I the... backed off of that, and then I said, it's Speyside. It's Speyside. <laughs> Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, <laughs> may you drink with us. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.